I'm a junior high girls leader at Copper Hills and today I'm going to be talking about the second letter of John. Um, the writer of the book in the first verse identifies himself as elder but um, pretty much from earliest times we've understood that this was just Apostle uh, John writing. Um, he is writing this book to emphasize truth and warn us about those who teach falsely. Um, he says that those who walk in truth should be people who love others and he commands us to faith and love. He warns us of false deceivers and he teaches us how to treat and relate to people who do not um, teach the doctrine of Christ. So um, some of the main ideas of the book um, we can get from the first few verses. Um, so verse one and two says, the elder to the chosen lady and her children, whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all who know the truth, for the sake of the truth which abides in us and will be with us forever. Um, basically, he's saying if we know and love the truth, we will also love those who know and love the truth. Um, John is very focused on the word truth in um, all of his writings. It's actually mentioned or used 37 times. Um, and this just shows that what binds Christians together is truth, and that's what it's built on. Um, and towards the end of verse 2, it says, The truth abides in us and will be with us forever. Um, that's just comforting because truth never changes. And, um, it's always the same. It will always be with us forever. Um, verse 3 is also really good. It says, Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. Um, so this is saying that grace, mercy, and peace are all great things and they come from God. Apart from God's truth and love, um, we cannot hold and maintain um, grace, mercy, and peace, basically. Um, goes on through verse 4 and 5 it says I was very glad to find some of your children walking in truth just as we have received commandment to do from the father now I ask you lady not as though I were writing to you a new commandment but the one which we have had from the beginning that we love one another and this is love that we walk according to his commandments this is the commandment just as you've heard from the beginning that you should walk in it um so this is basically saying like the integrity of our Christian life is basically seen in how we relate to one another um, and ultimately in how we love one another. Um, if we love God, we will obey his commandments. Um, and this isn't necessarily, this is a good thing because it's a privilege that we get to follow his commandments and obey him. Um, he really warns against a vague love that um, doesn't have the heart for obedience. Um, I thought this quote from someone named F. B. Meyer was really good. I'll read it to you. It says, the difficulty that you feel is that you do not love enough. You would like to love with a strong, undying flame, burning steadily toward Jesus Christ, cleansing you with its heat, constraining you with its love. But perhaps you fail to distinguish between love and the emotion of love. They are not the same. We may love without being directly conscious of love or being able to estimate its strength and passion. Here is the solution to many of our questionings. They love who obey. Um, this is the proof of true love. Universal obedience is built on the love of God. Um, love and truth are basically inseparable in Christianity. Um, verse 7 talks about what this reveals about Jesus and God. Um, it says, For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh. Um, this is the deceiver and the antichrist. Um, I'll also go on and read the rest of this um, verses um, 8 and 9. Watch yourselves that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. Anyone who goes too far and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. The one who abides in the teaching, he has both the Father and the Son. Um, this is basically saying that we must confess Jesus Christ um, and that he came in the flesh. Um, if we deny that and we deny Jesus, we're also rejecting the Father. We're rejecting the Father and the Son both. Um, so just some questions to end this, um, how we respond as believers. Uh, I just want to encourage you to evaluate your life daily. Um, 
are you trusting the love and truth of God? Are you building your life upon it? Um, that should be the most important thing in your life. Um, it will affect everything else. Um, I just want to also encourage you to rejoice in the truth during this time. Um, I know there's a ton going on, but the most important thing is that we rejoice in the truth. Um, and along with that, God will give us grace and mercy and peace, and he promises that. But we have to rejoice and believe in the truth. So, thank you guys.